Hi, I'm Mike Cunningham from Bismarck, Illinois. Farm about 1,100 acres of corn and soybeans this year. Uh, probably quite a bit heavier on beans than I am on corn. And we've had timely rain so far this year, but I am now looking to have another additional inch or two of rain would be nice. These beans have done excellent, as you can see, uh, planted around the uh, end of May, I think around the 27th, 28th, I believe. Uh, these are a 3-8 bean, um, so they're, they're a full season bean for around here. They're late maturity. Uh, we've had excellent growing conditions, like say we've had plenty of moisture, but not an excess of, of amount like they've had in, in some parts of the state and also in um, in other states. Here a couple weeks ago we had to do some estimates on uh, yield and I say we're right now looking at above average yield from around here so uh, average yield around here is probably in the mid 50s and I think it's going to be a, uh, more closer to the uh, upper 50s to low 60s. This year I guess I, I, I can honestly say that uh, I haven't really been uh, worried about any issues except for uh, um, timely rains. I mean, we've had no I know some people are saying they've got some sudden dust starting to show up. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, and I've, in the past, I've had some fields that have sudden death, but uh, um, I guess I've been lucky so far. We haven't had it. Uh, white mold has not ever been an issue for around here, and uh, um, as for insects, we had no in insect pressure either. I mean, uh, the only field that I actually sprayed for any fungicide and insecticide at the same time was the uh, high yield dust plot soybean field and we're just doing that to see if we get a yield response but everything else was not sprayed. I hate to say it but we look like we're as good a shape as we've ever been at this time of year and um, I hope it just keeps up to the end of the year.